They're off and pacing on account of you. Left well for the lead. In between horses, incredible Joanne. Now moving up on the outside, Cinderella Shamblin. These three now battle for the lead. Incredible Joanne takes the lead. Cinderella Shamblin moves up to drop in second on account of you. Third, racing fourth. She'll be a peach in fifth position. Incredible Hattie. Sir's Lady came away sixth, and the early trailer is Awesome Kim. They move into the stretch for the first time. Your leader, Incredible Joanne, off a quarter in 30 and 1 fifth. By the grandstands for the first time, Incredible Joanne leads a length and a quarter, racing in second. Cinderella Shamblin on account of you pacing third. She'll be a peach fourth. Incredible Hattie to the outside fifth. Sir's Lady behind her sixth, trailing the field, Awesome Kim, and now flushing out of fourth. She'll be a peach is moving up. They move over to the half mile pole. Your leader, Incredible Joanne. She'll be a peach moves up on the outside. Second, Cinderella Shamblin. Third half was in a minute and two fifths. Opening half mile each quarter in 30 and one fifth. Less than a half mile the pace in the race. Incredible Joanne leads a half length. She'll be a peach. The challenger on the outside. Second, Cinderella Shamblin alertly off the rail. Third. On account of you, stays inside fourth on the outside. Gapping cover fifth is Incredible Hattie. Sir's Lady has to go three wide around her. Trailing Awesome Kim, seven lengths would cover them all. Three quarters, 128 and two. Third quarter, 28 flat. She'll be a peach on the outside. Incredible Joanne tells her, I've got something left. And Incredible Joanne comes back on the rail. Cinderella Shamblin tips out wide for the drive. They're in the final eighth of a mile. She'll be a peach on a short lead. Incredible Joanne trying to fight back second. On account of you, looks for racing room third. Cinderella Shamblin on the outside fourth. Here comes Cinderella Shamblin on the outside. Cinderella Shamblin getting up. She'll be a peach second on account of you third. In Balmoral, seventh race, five, Cinderella Shamblin is your unofficial winner. Three, she'll be a peach finish second. One on account of you was third. Your unofficial perfect of five, three. Please hold all tickets. Let's go to Maywood. Ladies and gentlemen, we're eight minutes away from the seventh race, and this is the start of the late daily double. Field of six with no changes. There's eight minutes. Going into the winner's circle with a new lifetime mark of 159-1, and one, the Illinois bred Cinderella Shamlin. Cinderella Shamlin is owned by Ed Murphy, Scott and Marlene Scott, trained and driven to victory by Mark Carpenter. Cinderella Shamlin, Illinois bred six-year-old mare by Rorty Hinover of the Crackers mare, Miss Shamlin. Seventh race is official, 5-3 Perfecta, $26.20, 5-3 Perfecta, $26.20. Seventh race rundown, top down is 3-7-2. Six one five and four. Time for the mile one fifty nine and one. That's a new mark for Cinderella Shamblin. Just Shamblin'. five minutes. And here's the field. Here's number one, Stormy Win Ray and Danny Knox. Number.